Hello and welcome to Smiley Dusty. I have the hiccups and I hope they go away. Hopefully I don't hiccup through this. Ah, God damn it. Smiley Dusty. Ooh, this looks nice. That was nice too. A little bit on the louder side. Maybe crank you down. G. Us uh, a smidge. The space right to the continue. Alright. Settings. Are you that ah, to I don't think it's hard to tell when a game's gonna be too optimized or not. I'm gonna hope it's not. I'm gonna play. I can load game, start a new game. How long is this game? Good half an hour to an hour. That. March 10th, 2000. Finally home feels like forever since this morning. School was brutal. And those endless volunteer hours at the animal shelter were more draining than usual. But hey, at least I could finally unwind. This is my senior year. Gotta focus on those college applications. Wow. Sometimes the pressure feels like it might crush me. But for now, there's no place like home. Something feels off. Yeah, your entire house is kind of tilted. Usually I can hear Dad's booming laugh echoing from the living room about now. Why? Even Kyle's annoying screams during his video games would be a welcome sound. House is eerily quiet. This is normal. Neither is my heck of bag. 8, 12 p.m. What? Oh, your house is very dusty. Um, Dad? At home? Where is everyone? It's strange for them to all be gone with no explanation. Mom usually leaves a note if they're going to be out. Gotta find it. I have to move. Of course it is. Find Mom's note. Hello, Kulak. I like the radio. Mom usually has this on all the time. Yeah, it's great. What about the whole... There we go. This thing stopped working days ago. Just another thing on the to-do list. Maybe Dad can fix it when he gets back. I hope so. This sounds creepy. Hello, trophy. That's my sister Sarah's trophy. She won it in a Springdale scamper race back in April 1999. She came in first place, although I wasn't too far behind her. I was number two, actually. We were always competitive, even back then. Uh, okay, so I'm looking for a newt. The door is locked. There must be another way around. Maybe Mom and Dad left the key somewhere. Find the key! In the boxes? Oh, ooh, they're all empty. Actually, this whole room is kind of useless to me, except for maybe the room later? Thick room. Ooh. Eh. Oh, why is this boarded up? Well, oh, what's this? This wasn't here before. They boarded up the whole attic. Why? Maybe something happened while I was gone. Maybe I should just leave it alone. Why are the nails so huge? Why don't you get those in the wall? Hello? Power box, huh? One flip of this switch and the whole house goes dark. Nope, not happening. I had the dark way too much for that. Oh, why is there only two wires in it? What about you? The final door. Can I go through you? Excellent. Can't you use the wheel? Looks like mom left something here before they left. It should probably eat something, but I don't feel that hungry yet. Maybe like eat her. You've got an egg half the size of your plate, a whole chicken leg, and a leaf. Great. Nah. You got a bell pepper or an apple. Kind of hard to tell. Very cubic. Uh, a potato? Oh, no, a mushroom. Hey, key. And a whole bowl of rice. This is the key. Yeah, I could tell. Thanks. Oh, that's just a weird. Uh, more of the same things. A tomato. Uh, why do you just have cups in your freezer? Strange. Why is this room so dusty? Wait, well, must be the key to this door. Aha, there we go. So weird that they would lock a door too. Oh, great, more places. Hey, Emily, there's been some sad news about a close family friend, and we all need to go be w with their family for a while. Don't worry about a thing, sweetheart. Just relax and enjoy some quiet time. There's dinner in the kitchen for you, and we'll be back by tomorrow. Love you tons, Mom. A close family friend. <gasps> and he took everybody but you? Of course, just my luck. Another family event I miss. Guess I'll just finish my homework and try to get some sleep. 
We go to my room first. You objective to your homework. Is that a screaming picture? Oh, hello? Oh, that's not what I expected. No, do it again. What's this? Dear diary, that's be the worst day ever. This whole situation is just suffocating. Sarah's become this giant needy weight on everything. Like she can't do anything for her elf anymore. Constant requests, endless tears, the house feels like it's filled with this heavy, wet fog all the time. The worst part? Mom and Dad just hover around her, all smiles and concern, like I'm not even here anymore. I get it. The accident was awful, but I didn't ask for this. I get straight A's, I volunteer at the animal shelter, but none of that matters. So smile, Emily. Be strong for Sarah. Smile, smile, oh, smile. Feels so fake. The worst part is the fear. This gnawing feeling in my gut. What if Kyle's next? What if something happens to him, too? He's so talented with his drawings, and this whole thing with Sarah just feels like dark cloud spreading. Sometimes I just wish she wasn't here. Hateful, I know, but it's the truth. This family is supposed to be about all of us, not this never-ending cycle of worry and tears. I should just run away. Start over somewhere new. Then where would that leave Kyle? Ugh, it's all so messed up. Maybe if I just focus on smiling, everything will be okay. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. That's a trophy in there. I can't interact with the trophy, only the note. Hello. Nothing in here. Hello. What is it supposed to happen? Where is my character's room? What? Uh, this is my bedroom, which I share with my sister Sarah. Man, it feels like ages since I was last in here. Wait a minute. Where's my pink notebook? I left it right here before I left. Come on. Can't do half my homework without that notebook. I have to find it before I can even start my homework. Great! More things for me to do! That's supposed to be a calculator or a phone. I forgot I just get trapped in there. Did I take the flashlight? No? Right. They want it anyway. Uh, is that supposed to be tapping on the window? <laughs> How do you show the pictures of an eyeball? Uh, hello, other key. It's a key. Yeah, I could tell. Can I open these? Oh, I can't. Oh, a note. Medical report. Six-year-old Kyle Miller attends a follow-up appointment regarding his vision impairment. Previously diagnosed with liver congenital and morosis. A genetic condition causing progressive vision loss. Kyle experiences blurred vision, limited peripheral sight, and difficult seeing in low light. Despite these challenges, his family describes him as a bright and curious child who enjoys drawing. They are actively seeking resources to help him adapt and maintain independence as vision changes. The exam confirms LCA. The plan involves continuing monitoring of his vision through regular eye exams. Low vision rehab, but had a Rehabilitation training to maximize remaining vision and utilize assistive devices as needed. The potential referral to occupa uh, occupational therapy to explore strategies for daily living. Activities while LCA is progressive with no cure. Focus remains on maximizing Kyle's remaining vision, promoting his independence, and providing emotional support for him and his family. I only hiccup up like five times through that. Can I get out of that note, please? Thanks. And I can't take that. Didn't need it anyway. Can't sprint. I feel like I could have earlier. There we go. Didn't know it was locked. This is my little troublemaker's domain. Kyle's bedroom. Looks like nothing changed. Still, oh, mess as always. He's such a mess. But the cutest mess you'll ever meet. Oh, is that my notebook? Emily, me, daddy, mommy, Emily, Sarah. Looks like someone's been busy with his art again. And was this me? Kyle drew me. Ah, oh, sweetheart. Giant Lego bricks. Open these. That's a demon. Oh, Lego bricks. Is that my notebook? There you are, silly notebook. Okay, Kyle, I hope you didn't borrow this to draw another masterpiece. Oh, oh why not? Alright, is the book vibrating? That's weird. Uh, no, it's not my room. Should be the one down here. All right, history homework, here we go. Which is one take too long. Come on, Emily, focus. Just get through this one chapter, then you can take a break. Maybe a short nap, just a short one. It's never going to be a short one. Why are you passing out on the book? You're supposed to do the chapter first. 10.03 p.m. 
uh, who closed my book? Uh, finally finished. My brain feels like mush. Oh, you weren't sleeping. There's no way I could even think about starting that math worksheet right now. Oh. Yeah, a quick nap sounds perfect. Just for a little while. Take a nap. Which one of the ease beds is mine? Finally, some peace of quiet. Just a quick nap and figure out what to do next. What is that? It sounds like a TV. Oh, hi, friend. I thought the twig was going to be the most menacing thing out there. What? Oh, no, it's the radio, isn't it? Coming from upstairs. One of those almost sounded like a radio ad. Hey, Lou, I don't remember closing this door. Nor lighting a fire. Shush. There's no way. The radio's supposed to be broken. Well, you know, happens. We haven't been able to get it to turn on for days. Jesus. I should get back to bed before I start overthinking. Hello. What? Oh, no, people. Hello, is anyone there? Please answer me. Ooh. Answer the door. Sure, why not? That sounds like a great idea when I'm home alone and I'm expecting no visitors. Who's knocking? Hi, sorry for the interruption. I really need your help. I'm a traveler and my car broke down. It's cold and rainy outside. I just need a place to stay out of the weather until the rain stops. Can I come in? Sorry, but I don't think, I don't think so. I better find somewhere else. But I've knocked on 11 doors now and everyone's refused. They don't want, they don't want a stranger in their home, I guess. Is there a pattern on this door I've just realized? There is. It flips. It, there's actually, a, I think, a perfect pattern on both sides of the door. Please, it's freezing out here. Make your choice. I would like to look at a window because it didn't look like it was raining. Also. What? Oh, I'm in front of one of the choices. Here. Eh. There's the other choice. It's liar be honest, which I don't know what the context is. Like, I don't know which one is like g gonna let him because be honest might be, hey, everybody else isn't home, so I can't like let you in here. My arm broke for a second there. It's still breaking. It is breaking a lot. <laughs> I might have disconnected my arm. It's fine. Hello. Uh, but I don't know which one is going to be. I don't even know which one's going to let him in, to be honest. Uh, be honest? I'm sorry, I understand you're in a tough spot, but it's late and I'm all alone here. Can't just let a stranger come in. I understand your caution. Thank you anyway, Emily. How did you know my name? Mr. Mr. Answer me. Where did he, he left, obviously. What was that all about? Did he just vanish? No, he walked away. I'm so scared things like that don't just happen, do they? Ah, well, people walking away is kind of natural. Okay, Emily, just relax. Maybe it was nothing. People walk around late at night, right? Well, it's in the house. What was that? What was that? Maybe I'm hallucinating. Maybe I'm too tired, and that's why. Maybe I'm breathing all the smoke and dust in the air. I think I should call my family, the police, anyone, and to call for help. Can't stay here all alone anymore. My phone is in my bedroom. I can use it. That was your phone. Dial for help. Yeah, but let's just walk it. Ooh. Was in there? Oh yeah, boxes. Was there any reason for this room? Because there's in here. Anything like of notable worth in here? Anything in these boxes now? No. Okay. Oh, really? Uh, why? Wait, this is the backyard door locked tight. It's like mom and dad always kept it. Said it wasn't safe to leave it unlocked. Something about a neighbor seeing someone watching the house at night. <laughs> this very yard. Weird. The yard is gorgeous. A little red flowers, my favorite. Well, that's unfortunate. Why is this a door? There's one secret behind the wall. Can I open these? Oh, 
that's not good. Open the door, Emily. Are you scared of me? You're already in the house. Did you just leave the house? Hey, Dory. Uh, do you know my name? Not in my room, are you? No. I close the door. And then just do this from like a great point. Oh, or you could go back around the table. Who should I call? Police, obviously. Your family might just pawn it off. Who knows? Or the or the power is gonna be cut, and I can't call either. Not, oh, number one, what's your emergency? If someone tried to get into my house, I don't know who he is, but he knew my name. Calm down for a moment. Can you tell me your name and what's happening? Are you safe right now? Is he still there? Uh, I'm Emily. He was at the front door a minute ago, but now it's quiet. I'm all alone in the house, and I'm so scared. Have you seen this person at all? Can you describe him? Not really, just a voice, a man's voice. Kind of creepy. All right, Emily, don't open the door for anyone. Find a safe place to stay. We're sending officers to your location right now. How do you have my location? Who knows? Okay, there you go. Can you tell me your address? 142 Evergreen Lane in Blackwood Creek. Stay calm, stay safe. Try to get someone to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, keep the line open and... Hello, are you still with me? Wait. I almost got that was obvious. But at least I got the call out. Uh stay calm, they said they're sending help. Just stay put until they arrive. Yeah, we'll see how well that goes. He was already in your home. Oh, an hour and a half went by. 721 PM. Just chilling on the bed. An hour, it's been over an hour, no please. What's taking them so long? Oh, yeah. I'm so tired, but I can't sleep. Now the thought of him out there. The man. He hasn't knocked again. Maybe, just maybe, he's gone. Maybe a quick nap will hurt. It could hurt. You gotta be kidding me. Did you lock your door? Emily, sweetheart, are you there? Um? M.M. We came. Kyle? Oh, and Emily opened the door, no need to worry. The cops caught the stalker and everything is fine. All of you are here. Where's Sarah? Don't worry about Sarah. Just come out of your room and open the door. We're all here for you. Yeah, she's right here. She's just a little shy, that's all. It's okay, open the door and come join us. Sarah is here too and she wanted to apologize for what happened between you. Into this, we trust in no one. We don't trust a soul. Ah, this isn't gonna save me. This isn't gonna happen to open this door. Hello. What's going on? Hello, Mom, Dad, Kyle. Is this some kind of joke? Is this what you all planned? Where are you? Well, there goes the power. No, 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 no. Power outage now. This can't be happening. The power box upstairs, right? I know it is. The breaker. The lights. Wait. My flashlight! Okay, I thought I was gonna have to look for it. There you are. Now I need to restore the power. Calm down, be brave. New objective, restore the power. Okay. This can only end well for me. Hello? Anybody in my home? Oh, I thought those were eyes. Those very easily looked like eyes. You're not gonna be up here, are you? Hello? Wait, this is wrong. The door is locked. I locked this one before I swear I did. Well, he relocked it. Find the key. Well, that's a problem. Again, that looks like eyes. What happened? I didn't click, make a flashlight clicking noise. Why'd you click? Where's the key now? Can I open these? Oh, I could! Oh, there's a note in here. Medical report. 17-year-old Emily Miller presents with anxiety and panic attacks that surfed after her sister's December 1999 car accident. She experiences constant unease, heightened fear, and a sense of impending doom. Manifesting physical with rapid heart rate, shortness of breath, and dizziness. Panic attacks are triggered by perceived stressful or overwhelming situations. Such as those involve helplessness. Prior to the accident, Emily excelled academically and volunteered actively. Now she reports declining grades and social withdrawal. 
She expresses feelings of resentment and isolation within the family. Overshadowed by her sister's needs, Emily's anxiety and panic attacks are likely a response to the trauma of her sister's exit. Further fueled by ongoing stress and a perceived lack of control, treatment will involve cognitive behavioral therapy to address anxiety-provoking thoughts, and develop coping mechanisms, relaxation techniques, and potential medication management. Family therapy is recommended to improve communication and address underlying family dynamics. With proper intervention, Emily's anxiety and panic attacks are likely manageable. Great. And nothing in there. Wow, well, I was lost one. Is that me making footsteps? I hope it was. There's a reason these uh, dressing rooms are around, which is the problem. I'm going to try this one more first. Ah, the toilet! Guess I end well. I don't like that it's covered in the curtain. Hello? Are there demons in my tub? I like the ducky. I can't squeeze the ducky though, which is sad to me. Don't teleport and grab it. God damn it, it's a key. Okay, teleport it back. Hi? Well. Anybody in my hallway? If the flashlight could stop flickering, that'd be awesome. I got the key. So far, nobody has stopped me. I don't like that there's a use for the dressers, though. Anybody in my... I, what is this? A foyer or something? I don't know. Ah, somebody did flick the switch. Power just don't just happen like this. Someone, someone had to pull that lever off. You mean down. I need to call the police again. Just that. Conceal it. Ah, I'm breathing the dust again. Move just to call the police. Leave the house. That probably won't help you. Uh, ha ha ha. So you want me to go? Why don't you bring your phone with you? Are you fool. Can I see further down? Please, like, get lower on the stairs. Also, that's great. This was supposed to be locked. I can't even interact with it anymore. But who keeps closing all the cupboards I keep opening? I actually interact with some of these things now. You have no arms. Thing in here. What? Oh, right, that was a VCR thing. Is this supposed to be like a happy area? Duck. Alright. You think picture of a house. Police! Would I only now call the police if I called the family before? Or would I call the family again? Nine one one. What is your emergency? You don't have the same template as you did before. Yes, I need help. There's someone in my house. Um. Wait. You. Is there an emergency, dear Emily? Is there someone in your house, Emily? Don't worry, Emily. We can help. We are not very far from you, Emily. In reality, we are closer than you think, Emily. What do you mean? Oh, hello, good friend. You really just popped in my room to just aggressively slam my door? That wasn't real. That could not have been real. I just need some sleep. Or maybe I'm just in a dream. Or maybe I'm going crazy. None of that. None of that. And nothing is wrong with you, Emily. And when you hang up. The negative feelings emanating from you. Hatred. Jealousy. Envy, all attracted to him, him to you, that's what I meant to say. His name is Dusty, and he just wants to play a game with you. It is because of the dust. I need to get out of his house right now. That probably wouldn't typically... Neither solution is a great one. Leave the house. Oh, come back! Hey, the police is here. Can I let you through the back? Nope, I can't even interact with this still. Let the police in, we're gonna die. 
Are you gonna do it again? Don't do it again. Oh! Well, that's not cool of you. <laughs> this lock, it doesn't even stop the door. It's attached to the wall. Oh, the door has to pull in. Well, then maybe, but it doesn't look like it does. Well, I guess it might. I don't know. Please, if anyone here, make yourself known. Yes, help me. I'm stuck in here. Did you say hello? I, don't, I didn't quite get what you said. Oh, no. Oh, my classic turnaround. You're bigger than I thought you'd be. I, see you. I would hope you see me. I'm in front of you. Oh, hi. <laughs> well, I'm dead. Is that it? Am I doomed? No, I'm still alive. 12 a.m. <laughs> we ain't dead yet. Who are you? Uh, wake up, Emily. Our game isn't finished yet. You're looking more human there, Dusty. You're looking like a person. What? Where am I? You? Is that you? What are you all doing to me? You're in the destination, Dusty's domain, Dusty's playground. This is destination. Not destination. It looks like an M. And he wants to play with you, Emily. This is a weird close-up for somebody who doesn't have a face. What does he want from me? What do you want from me? Let me leave, you monsters. Oh, Emily. Do you think we are all only monsters? We all began like you. And we need to do this. There's still no face for a close-up. Have fun. Oh, Emily. What's happening to you? Wait. These walls. It seems familiar. Does it? Why is there a carpet from nothing? Find a way out. What seems familiar about these walls is just classic stone. Um, this is darkness. Oh, nice. Are you gonna be down one of these middle hallways? That would not be very much appreciated. Can you let me out. Please don't let this be an excruciatingly long hallway. What's happening? Oh, hi. And you are? Sarah. What? No, I'm Emily. Oh my god, Sarah, you're you're walking. How is that possible? No, that's not a person. That's a silhouette. Emily. Why can't I move, Emily? When can I get off this awful wheelchair, Emily? Why am I not like the others, Emily? Da -da -da. Sarah, please, for once in my life... Can you just shut up? Let's see. You are perfect, Emily. Hi. Dusty. Too perfect to lose. Dusty, please just end all of this. Can't take it any of this anymore. I just want it. I just want everything to be over. What do you mean, too perfect to lose? Did I beat you in a game or something? My flashlights. Neat! I need your stupid lights anymore. Oh, good, but we're just still going down a hallway. Okay, never mind. Oh, wait. Yes, we are. I... Where is there more basement? Can I move faster if I go diagonally? Does this game have that trick? It does not look like it. I don't know how that trick works. I guess it's just because we're using the forward and left boost speed hello wheelchair is that sarah's wheelchair peekaboo. wait peekaboo come on dusty you did it many times now you're behind me is that a flower don't you remember emily you asked me to end it all this is my offer happiness forever what are you talking about oh emily didn't think anyone could appreciate you quite like i do did you? Oh, the jealousy, the hatred. It simmers just beneath the surface. Doesn't it? The world tells you happiness exists, but it hides it just out of reach. And it festers within you. Envy consumes you. An emptiness that whispers that something is missing. That something else is what you deserve. What do you want from me? That negativity, that exquisite discontent, it fuels me, Emily. That's why I won't let you fade away like the rest. 
No, you're far too precious for that. Join me, Emily. Join me and I'll make sure that Sarah won't come home. I will guarantee you that you will not hear her crying after today. Or her complaints after today. And you will be number one, always and forever. You know what? We're going to accept you, Dusty. Yes, yes, just get it over with. Take everything negative about me. Just make her disappear. Sure. Is that what you want, Emily? There's no turning back. Yes, 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 yes. She made me suffer all that time. All the jealousy, the envy. Take it all. I'll do anything. Just take her off my life. Naughty girl, naughty girl. You have fire in your eyes, but can't you control it? Take this flower. It'll amplify your power. It'll also test your sanity. You can crush it without succumbing to the madness. And perhaps you'll be worthy. Give me your flower. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. I knew you were different, Emily. Stronger than the others. This flower, it tests them all. Most succumb to the madness, but you, you embraced it. You embraced the madness? Wasn't that succumbing to it? We're gonna have so much fun together. That wasn't the deal. Question mark, question mark, question mark. So not AM or B, I guess. Then that would tell me. But no, that wouldn't tell me like any time, pretty much. It's just one spectrum. Oh, you threw me down a pit. Where am I? Dusty, where'd you send me? God damn it. I was promised freedom. I guess I wasn't promised freedom. You promised one ex specific thing. I'm still not free. God damn you. I lost my flashlight again. Is that my phone? Yes. Hi, Sammy. What? Emily, did you? Yes, Sammy, I accepted the offer. I'm Dusty's new host! What? That means that you are free! I can't believe it. There's one rule we all respect down here. You have to play one of Dusty's games before you leave. I like to call this one Sit and Survive! I'll explain the rules! You see those four dark corridors in front of you? Technically, one's in front of me. Each one leads somewhere. And in one of them waits, uh, well, let's just say an unwelcome guest. These cameras, my dear, are your only tools. Wait, what? Use their flash function to peek into the hallways. You spot the unwelcome friend, you can try to slow him down by the rope hanging beside the corresponding gate. Oh. One last detail. You can only close one gate at a time. Therefore, make sure to reopen the closed gate if you need to close another one. Be a naughty boy and survive for two minutes. We'll see what's next. What's like? What? Who, who am I then? How many times can I? Oh, you're like very constant. I can just kind of go in a circle. It... One of you made a noise. Oh, hi. Could you? Thanks. And I can kind of keep it closed like that until I need to. Oh, boy. Uh, that one? Okay, then you're gone. Good. Um, yeah, that could be a problem. Could you? Thanks. Ah, uh, you were down. This one, right? Probably. Uh, it seems like they go away pretty quickly when I close the gate, because I don't really have much of a choice. Oh, hi again. You just... Could you get off the chair? Thanks. Um, buddy, we've got a problem. You still that? What the heck? Stop coming down these two hallways. Oh, good. You're coming down that one now. I think you immediately disappear. I really hope you do. You do. Oh, my God. You're all just dusty. You said an unwelcome friend. It's all just dusty. He's the same guy. God damn it. Uh, which one did I close? And which one were you down? And I forgot. You were down this one. Well, still, like, I have a pretty good grace period. Tell you, uh, okay. Tell you actually kill me. Yeah, this one. 
I wish I could reach them all from the middle. I would make it too easy, but reach them all from the middle. You open and you close. Oh, uh, hi, buddy. Uh, you open and you close. But you should be fine. Yep. Oh. That wasn't so bad, was it, Sammy? Congratulations. You are now free to walk through the exit. Where's the exit? Um. Okay. I will? Yes, Sammy. Go on, continue your life without your three year old child. Think of all the things you won't have to worry about anymore. No sleepless nights, no tantrums, just you. Free, happy, and lonely. What have you done? I told you, Emily. We're not that different. What are you talking about? Am I some, a different person entirely? Am I not even related to that family? Probably is what I'm going with. Ending. The new host. Okay. And there's also an ending where I refuse Dusty's offer and does something. I probably, I'm the person that plays that game, then I escape, and then it's just like, yay! Cool. And ending's probably just escape from Dusty. That was interesting. I liked it. Their little mini game was very simple. Uh, you can kind of just spin in a circle. The entities just go away immediately. You didn't have to wait till they get close to the gate. You just immediately shut it, no matter how far they are, and they will immediately disappear. So it's a little on the easy side, to be fair. I don't know why there were wardrobes. Those usually signify, because I could hide in them, that the entity would be present throughout the house. It was only present in jump scares. Which was kind of strange to me. I'm surprised that, like, towards the end, you didn't see that like, kind of skulking around. And, like, jump scares you if it gets close. I don't know. But I still liked it anyway. It was pretty good. This was Smiley Dusty. If you liked it, any more on my YouTube stream three times a week, Tuesday, Friday, Sunday, all 10 30 Pacific Dead time. I'm not hiccup hiccuping anymore, and that's great. Uh sometimes I stream on different days, sometimes earlier, all that all that jazz. Catch you later. Bye-bye.